Have you ever sent a private message, clicked pay now, or logged into a secure website and wondered how does your information stay safe? Is it just floating out there for anyone to see or is something guarding it? The answer is encryption, a remarkable blend of math, engineering, and trust that protects our digital world. Today, we're diving deep into how it works from the basics to its technical core, including where session keys come from and the roles that public and private keys play in securing the web. Picture encryption as a translator that takes your plain language, your texts, emails, and passwords and converts it into an unbreakable code. It's like locking a letter in a lockbox, but the lock and the key are designed by mathematicians. Only the right key can open the lock, keeping the nosy never or hacker firmly locked out. What makes this so powerful is that the lock isn't a simple physical mechanism. It's based on complex mathematical problems that are virtually impossible to reverse without the key. There are two main types of encryption symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption, and understanding these is the first step to seeing the brilliance behind encryption. Symmetric encryption is like sharing a diary with a single key. Both you and your friend use the same key to lock and unlock it. It's fast and efficient but risky. If you lose that key, anyone who finds it can read your secrets. Asymmetric encryption, on the other hand, takes this cleverness to a new level. It uses two keys, a public key visible to everyone and a private key only known to you. The public key locks the message and only the private key can unlock it. Think of it as a mailbox where anyone can drop in a letter, but only you have the key to open it. The strength of this method lies in the sheer size of the keys. A 2048-bit RSA key, for example, generates such a vast number of possible combinations, around 20 to the 48, that guessing the correct one would require more computational power than exists in the universe. Yeah. In practice, modern encryption systems use both methods for optimal security and efficiency. 